Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of is on the biggest of the uh, 2001 line, Hogwarts Castle. Well, also, first version of Hogwarts Castle, also. So, on the front of the large manual, see a picture of it then, and Harry flying on the broom, of course. Harry Potter will go, the old version, and the nice border that has been used until 2003, obviously, Lego logo, and set number 4709. And on the back is as for the PC CD ROM game, of course. And also a few building and also a few building steps for the alternate builds. So, of course. And a few alternate shots and the features of the set. And also another view of it. And then the last step is of course. So first thing is Harry Potter himself, a witch. Same version that is seen in a lot of the other Sorcerer's Stone sets, of course, but but this time with the purple cape, of course, but and of course, but this, and also holding the broom, obviously. Okay, and not the same. And then Ron Weasley, a witch. Same kind of same one that is also used in uh, Snape's classroom, of, and of course, and. All of which using the regular legs instead of the short legs, like they did in the recent versions, obviously. And, and next to it is Hermione Granger, of which only other set he has come in other than Forbidden Corridor, of course. And also Tan Wan, uh, no back torso print or anything. Same with all these figures and nothing else to look at, of course. And next to it is the Half Blood Prince. Sever a snake. Oh, same as in Snaked Classroom and a few other ones. Same glow in the dark head and whatnot. And not much else to look at. No torso, back torso print or anything. And then Hagrid. Oh, it, same as from Hagrid's hut. Hagrid got spanked. And of course. The same exact rubber beard piece, which they've carried on until around 2010-11. But at least they improved it with 2018, obviously. And, and then Dumbledore, also used in Dumbledore's office and Hagrid's hut off also then. So this was a more expensive choice to get both of those in this one. And not much else to say. And next to which is Peeves, who of which was present only in the books, but but I guess they probably included him just because some were more familiar with the books at the time, obviously. And only other set he came in was Snape's classroom, so that was a more cheaper alternative to get him than this one, of course. And now of who is exclusive to this set, or first time ex only exclusive to this one until Sets the following year is Draco Malfoy, whose torso print kind of similar to that of the other ones, but of course in green for Slytherin rather than for Gryffindor, obviously. And the same exact starry cape there. And face print, of which quite nice, kind of suiting for him. And of course, the same exact male hairpiece that Lego used for many, many years, at least until he improved it in the uh, 2018 range, of course. And of course, black bar piece for a wand, of course. And first of all, for the builds, is a regular Lego boat piece, which has a little torch on the front end, enough space to 
but Hagrid and one of your other minions onto a horse. Since on the cover it shows both him and Draco in it. And could it, would it float? Uh, probably not. Although they could have included a pair of oars as well. Even though there was a whole bunch in this sequence of oars. So yeah. And also next to it is this little archway that leads to it. And you can kind of ride the car and the privet drive set through it, but it's probably a little narrow for that. But on one side does have the regular rock piece, obviously, and other which has the large pillar piece that has some good brick printing to it and a couple bit of sand green around it, which as you'll see in this set has plenty of that as well. And it was the regular castle corridor set, of course. And from the back, just hollow and vacant, obviously. And a uh, one, two by three brick stick and right on out to probably to attach it to other parts. And first of which is what's probably the Great Hall, the very first version. With this, for this interior or for an outside space which has all the like ridges to it, done by long bricks and of course a couple of torches off to the sides and further above is another one of those uh, pieces there and also the like these cardboard flaps which just like the first Hagrid's hut set is kind of this thin uh, material to it for when of course it should have been uh, plates and all but at least they fixed it with the newer Hogwarts sets of course and of course owl piece in brown of course and look on the inside is a crystal ball there and white rat piece and also this uh, large banner which is representing for that of Gryffindor and like the film can rotate around and let it be for Slytherin. But of course in the newer version they kind of improved that for all four houses. And also get so then there's those uh, uh, tubing kind of pieces from classic space sets but in clear and holding flame pieces but representing the candles floating above of course. And then in there there's a lion brick pieces from earlier castle lines, of course. And also the large slope there, but which you can open up. And the instructions that do say which put peeps onto it, of course, and have it hidden, of course. This little thing you can take out and open up and get a little pink gem in it, obviously. And also, on one of these benches, do you get this somewhat holographic uh, picture of Dumbledore, of course. Although represent, supposed to represent the moving picture, obviously. Which also seen in the Hogwarts Express set from this year, of course. A couple of cups and a little old school letter piece and gray version of the rat piece. Also, we get the Dumbledore's desk and chair, which in purple, same with that, representing your Dumbledore me. That does have all of that. And just found enough space to fit him in, of course. And, but a good build for the chair, obviously. You can pull it forward and you have a, a jewel piece in blue this time and also a little tile that has a little sack printed on it, which also used in Dobby's release set from this time and a couple others as well. So hidden features of which 
common in these older sets. Now on to the rest of which. There's a couple more of those uh, one by two brick or long one by two bricks that have the, the bricks printed on, of course. And quite a lot of hollow space in it, but you know, probably for lower cost and whatnot. And same kind of effect as a couple other times in this set, and the curved railing as an alright balcony to perch a mini thing onto it. And it does swing open like those couple other sets, which you can put on top of one of them. And of course. And if you turn this set, uh, brick here, and then this rubber band which turns this thing around, which one of which is a little fireplace, of course, and also if you look from this side, oh, is the treasure chest piece, but in clear. So if you're a mockist, you might like having this piece around. You do get a dark blue gem and yellow gem, or tra in trans colors. It's fitted on a one, but on a jumper, of course. And the width from inside is we get this little thing that holds the three book pieces into it, which oftentimes just fall out from that, of course. And whereas these two book pieces were shown in a couple other sets, but this black one, which is exclusive to this one. mini desk that has the, oh, what do you call it, that has the magnifying glass there, of course, you can split this thing out, and get a one by one uh, tile plate there, with some all right printing to it, and you can slip it in like so, and get some gray stair pieces, like we've seen in the Forbidden Corridor one, also a bit somewhat modular, kind of like the newer Astronomy Tower set. And also have the night piece, which not counted as a mini fig, of course, but has a good print for the shield to, for that of Gryffindor, of course. And you wonder what this brown chain is for, it is for up above is just a kind of vacant space, so which has a table that has a couple of cylinders as jars, of course. And once you pull that lever, it pulls it right up, and there is a key, or, or chrome key piece, also in a couple other sets. And to the very top of which you get. There's which another one of those book pieces, but plain and in blue, of course. And a couple of cylinders used as a, uh, a as a telescope, of course. And, and without that, canopy piece can look around, kind of like the recent Astronomy Tower set. And this canopy piece also was common in a lot of these other older sets, of course. And you see Black Owl piece, of course. Also missing a uh, flagpole and flag above that. But I can add that in later. But as for the rest of the section, is oh, this little owl tower piece. Get a, get a white and black owl, or not black, gray owl pieces and a couple cylinders aside and 
as for this tower pit, not put on any studs, uh, just on these little uh, one by one tiles, of course. But it is held in quite well, but although just kind of loose. So if you're moving around, be careful with it. Although I think just regular uh, studs would have worked just fine. And you can see it does have the uh, tan jagged slopes holding around. Or you can fit other uh, uh, castle corridor sections onto it, obviously. And you can fit it all on this like that. Oh, also forgot in this section is get one of those rotating wall pieces. This will like we've seen in a couple other ones and also do get this kind of interesting uh thing uh print to it. Then, yeah. Okay, so final verdict on the set is this, I think, pretty cool set for its time. Like, do get play good playability to it, and also do get plenty of hidden sections, and also plenty of modularity to the astronomy tower section. So, I guess this set is like both the astronomy tower and a uh, great hall sets of the newer range, but. It's a little bit downsized and sold together, of course. But, but of course, this is kind of what they had at the time, obviously. So, sign at the time is worth. Got plenty of stuff for the price point, unlike nowadays. Play with a little more, of course. And also, of course, first and only time of ever having Draco Malfoy before any other sets did. And also plenty of good mocking pieces, of course, despite the roof tiling pieces, of course. And well, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say go ahead and get it. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.